now spent most of his time at the dacha. He only rarely went into the city, only when he absolutely had to. I was going to a music school and the teachers would ask during the lessons, tell us please about the composer Shostakovich, the formalist, and the hostile music he writes. I stood up, said I had a stomach ache and left the room. Dmitry suffered under this repression his whole life long. It preoccupied him deeply, and he attempted to express this feeling of constant threat in his music. Shostakovich was indirectly very quickly rehabilitated. As early as 1949, the famous telephone call took place between Shostakovich and Stalin. After that, the ban on performing his works was represented as a bureaucratic error. He was a coward for himself, but brave when it came to defending others. He had something of everything, and basically he was, well, just a very unfortunate person. Well, think about it having to lie the entire time, and to have to listen to people say that he'd caved in on the Fifth Symphony just in order to exist like that. So you have to admit, a tragic personality through and through. In context of the Tenth Symphony, where we know from Shostakovich, the scherzo was a portrait of Stalin. of evil as Stalin. Another, the, the force of Shostakovich's personality. As seemingly ordinary citizen of the time, who would not buckle under uh, pressure of Stalinism. Like Bach, Shostakovich also encoded his initials in the music. The notes D, E, C, H are the first letters of his name. Those are his initials in the music. 
That's his monogram. Just that, nothing more. Mind you, he uses it brilliantly. His composer's imagination allows it to be funny, sad, strong, and terrible. Through this musical phrase, he himself is present in his work. Whenever this signature appears, Shostakovich very clearly announces that I am speaking here about myself. Shostakovich decides that he wants to be recognized as a personage, as a hero of his own work. In the time of the Thaw under Nikita Khrushchev, the charge of formalism leveled at Shostakovich was dropped. In 1961, he became a member of the Communist Party. On the subject of his membership in the party, Dmitry said to me, if you love me, never ask me about it. That was emotional blackmail. It was chantage. occasion of his joining the party, he created a huge spectacle. He uh, drank a lot of vodka, he cried, you know, he created a Dostoevskian scene completely out of character. He worked on the Eighth Quartet. One day he came to lunch and sat down at the table and said, I have finished a piece which is dedicated to my memory. It is my requiem.